Soul Food Bistro over on Washtenaw. They're inviting each and every you, each and every one of you over for the Afterglow. You can come and meet Lynn Roundtree and John E. Lawrence and the band. Together. 
So how's everybody doing, y'all? Are you okay this evening? Are you ready for some fantastic music at the John E. Lawrence Summer Jazz Series? I've been, I have just been informed by the man in charge. We want to keep this event going, do we not? Um, there are going to be some people coming around and they'll be accepting donations for this event. So not only can you buy a bulletin or a notebook for this event, you can also just give a cash donation. They'll be coming by in, during the show. Since, since this band will go straight through, there will be no pause. So y'all gonna get it hit after hit after hit after hit. Before I bring him up, I do have one gentleman here that has been working with me since way back in the day when we were both at WJZZ. Give it up for Mr. Kyle Lamont, he's over at my tent. Kyle Lamont is with us. Now, as I was saying before the boss made me stop, don't forget, donate generously. We want to keep this event going for years and years to come. Also, take care of all of those hardworking people back there, all the vendors. Show them some love as well. Now, it's time to bring on a man that I've had the pleasure of being on stage with and bringing him on so many times. And it's always a pleasure. I'm thinking about when I bring him up, I think about hits like uh, Release, Fluid, and my favorite jam is his cover of Michael Jackson's You Rock My World. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Come on, give it up, give it up. Come on, give it up. Y'all gotta do better than that. I swear we go home. Put it together for Mr. Lynn Roundtree.
beautiful day, man. Last time I was here, it was raining and stuff. But, but the gods blessed us today, or God blessed us today with a beautiful, beautiful day. And so we're going to take full advantage of this. It's going to go okay. I don't have nobody else going on after me, so there's nobody here to get me off stage. So we're going we gonna to take it and use it for everything we can right here. Because I got two years worth of music for you guys, man. I couldn't do it last year, right? So y'all get us some good stuff today, man. We ready. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for some funk and some soul? Well, then I got I to gotta get you to bear with me for just a little bit, okay? Because I got to make sure these cats are ready. I got to make sure these cats are living up to the Round Tree brand of soul. And I think they can do it, but I don't know if their juice is going. They just ate a lot of food. So I got to get a heat check on them. So bear with me for about two minutes. I'm going to do a heat check on the band, and then we'll get right back to the show. Is that cool? All right, we're going to see where they land. I think they may be ready. Is that cool? You think they ready? They, they ready, huh? <laughs> you know, sometimes when you eat, it slows you down. You want to go to sleep, but sometimes it gives you the energy. So I think they got the, they, at least they had the energy drinks. I don't know. We'll see after this song if they're going to fall out. But uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, that's the song that I do. If you guys have seen my show, you see me do that at every show. And any show after this, you'll continue to see me do that song because now I've got eight CDs. It's, it's, it's a testament to have eight CDs in this business, man. But that's the first song I ever wrote in my life, off of my first CD. Uh, I, didn't, I was playing, how many of y'all remember the Key Club? East Franklin, right. I, I, I was playing at East Franklin, and I kept asking me, man, do you have a CD? you have a CD? I was like, well, maybe I should make one. 
And so I wrote that song right there, and that's the first song I wrote for my first CD. So I played it every show. It's called Every Day. We did a redo of that song on my fifth CD, uh, so it sounds more like this. Doesn't sound like this in the first version. But we're going to keep the music going uh, and play a song off of my fourth CD. Uh, it's got a little, uh, little Latin vibe to it. Um, and we're going to slow it down because we, we get a little funky early. I don't want to get tired. You know, we just, y'all just ate. That's why I told y'all not to eat. I'm just stuffing their faces. So we're going to take it easy so they don't get, uh, you know, indigestion or anything before we bring it back up. Uh, and we're going to play a little song called In the Day. We're going to feature our drummer and our keyboard player, Mr. Demetrius Neighbors.
there and see some of you guys. Is that cool?
One more time, Mr. Nate Wynn on drums. On bass, we got Rob Skinner. Robert Skinner. <laughs> on guitar, we got uh, Gary Van Halen Johnson. I told him where his tight pants and his, uh, his long hair, but he, he didn't do it. I don't know why. I think it was too hot out here. I'm going to get him to do it next time. And where, did, where, did, where did my MD go? Oh, we having a sound issue up here. See what happens, man, when you're at home, you know? Did everybody feel comfortable? I can just, I'm going to go get me a drink. You know what I mean? Just pull the Hennessy, man, because he's going to be up there talking. No, I'm messing with you. That's my man. Give it up for my MD, Mr. Demetrius Neighbors. And he ain't drinking. He probably ran about five miles this morning, every morning. Y'all follow him on Facebook, man. He's his own artist in his own right, man. And he's so humble that he comes and plays uh, for me. But he's got, he's got product here. And he's also got a song on watercolors right now that they are playing twice a day at least. What's the song, Better Day? Bounce to this. So, yeah, no, for real, man. Uh, uh, he's his, his, his own solo artist, and I'm just so happy that he continues to make me look good, right? But uh, shout out to him and shout out to the, the love. You know what? It's so funny when I get on these festivals and they were like, man, you wanna, you wanna go on before Mr. Major person? You know, whatever. Uh, yeah, but you can't do no whole lot of songs. I, was like, I only got four songs. They don't know how long my songs are, right? <laughs> well, yeah, he just got four songs, okay. So we are, we are already a half an hour in the show and only played two songs. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, but it's all good. We're taking our time. You know, if they were rushing me off the stage, I'd, I'd, I'd be a little... But I want to take my time because I haven't seen y'all in a long time, man. I just, I just want to, yeah, I just want to, I just want to marinate with y'all, man. Just, you know, just let, cook it up. Let it, let it, let it marinate, right? You know, it's the soul. It's nice out here. It's not going to rain, so we don't have to rush nothing. So uh, with that said, do y'all know a guy by the name of uh, John E. Lawrence? Y'all know him? Give it up to this brother, man, for putting this thing together. It has grown year after year after year, man. And, and I'll tell you what, man, to put a show like this, you know, together uh, from scratch, to have the, the, the foresight and the, the wisdom and the ingenuity to put this together um, takes a lot, man. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of long, lonely nights. <laughs> takes uh, a, a lot of finances from you. And give it up to his beautiful wife for sticking around with him. Well, all the musicians, you know, we give it up to our wives for sticking them with us. But, uh, you know, it, it's no easy task. So I am happy to invite him on stage. Johnny, you want to come on stage and play something with me, brother? Oh, he's already up here. He messed up the... See, when you get home, man... He messed up the surprise. Yeah, I'm here. Well, since he's up here, we're going to make him play, right? So I'm going to play a song off uh, my uh, first CD again. I'm going to go back when I, I didn't know anything about smooth jazz. Uh, I was like, you know, you know, just, just play what I love. And what I loved back then in 2005, 2004, 2003 was Neo Soul. You know, D'Angelo had just come out with his, I you know what I mean? I could take my shirt off back then, John, but now I can't do that, right? It's my glory days. I've been on the road eating a little too much. But I still harping back to the music, and this is one of the songs that I put on my, my record, man, because uh, I just love the soul, man. I thought I was going to be the neo-soul trumpet player, and it was like, no, nah, you're going to be smooth jazz. But now that I've got eight CDs, I can go back and be the neo-soul trumpet player, right? Full circle. So we're going to put this in my set for this year. It's the first time I put this back in my set. It's delicious, and we're going to feature my man John E. Lawrence on this one.
That's jazz, brother. That's jazz. It's not, it's not what style the music is. It's jazz. People get confused with what jazz is and soul and all these names, man. Jazz is the art of improvisation. Well, what, whatever you're doing, it's the art of improvisation, man. And that's exactly what happened. You guys have heard something that you've never heard before and will never hear again in that interaction, man. And that's what cats that know the language. Give it up for the cats and especially my man, Mr. John E. Lawrence. For so many years, man, I thought it was Johnny Lawrence. I'm like, Johnny Lawrence. You know, it's an E. John E. Not to be confused with Johnny. My man, thank you, brother. He said, man, I'm going to see you at the afterglow. I'm going to drink now. Y'all put me to work. Hey, man, you, hey, look. We got to pay you, man. We got to give you some money back. Hope not. Now nah, I'm messing with it, man. That's my brother, man. So yeah, we gonna keep the music. See what I mean? We only played three songs. It's already an hour. We gonna get kicked out. How long we got, man? Can we play a couple more songs? What's up, Lord? How you doing? Is that beautiful? Hey, man. Um, you said it's only what? It's only 48 minutes, right? Not an hour. We got some more songs for you. That cool? Is that cool? We got a lot of more songs for you. What we gonna do now? What we? What's? Yeah. <laughs> so hey, look. Um. I, I, my bass player, uh, my original bass player who used to be on the road with me all the time, uh, he, he left untimely. Uh, my brother, Mr. Kenny Mac Martin. Anybody know Mr. Kenny Mac? Uh, he also, you know, he was tough, brother. He was like, don't cry for me, man. Y'all just be bunky. I don't care, man. So I know he's looking down on us. And so when I get to this, uh, this part of the show, I always look up to him and I'm always thinking about him in my ear. Uh, saying, hey, man, whatever you play, it's better be funky, brother. And uh, why I don't get no solos, man, on your shows? I was like, well, man, look, man, you can play. I don't want to play other people's stuff. I was like, well, write me a song. He said, oh, you sure? I was like, yeah, man. He's like, well, it's going to be funky. You know what it is. I was like, well, let's bring it on. So he played it for me, and uh, he's like, man, I'm thinking about that, man. I was like, man, that's soulful. He said, man, ain't no damn soul. That's funk. I was like, no, man, to me it's soulful. Soul is funk. He was like, well, well, I don't care what you call it. Just play it and let me play my solo. I was like, cool, I'm going to call it Soul Funky. And that ended up being the title of my fifth CD, Soul Funky. And that's how I call myself, Mr. Soul Funky, Soul Tree. So uh, that, that, that name goes a long way. That means a lot to me. And whenever I play, I don't play it unless I have a dope bass player to play that, that funky track, man. And we got one right here. <laughs> Mr. Rob Skinner, man, we know he just ate, but, he, but I think he digested his food. So we come to the part of the show where we can feature. And you know Kenny going to talk about you if you ain't funky, man. Kenny going to strike you with some lightning or something. <laughs> Big bro. So we going to feature my brother, man, uh, Mr. Rob Skinner on this one. So funky, written by my man, uh, Mr. Kenny Mag Martin. Rest in peace.
Figure this out, hold on. Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh. Jazz, man, improvisation. I didn't know they were going to do that. I'm going to dock them $5. $5! Well, in that case... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's five more dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> Money today. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. I, I love it, man. I love the improvisation. And it's so good when you don't have no other person on the side of the state. Man, get off, man. We got to get so and so, so and so up. Because Lynn Roundtree taking up all the time with his four songs. <laughs> I honestly get that, man. You know, like, I was like, y'all better watch who you put me before. You give me that stage, I, we, I, you know, I ain't going to get down. That's, that's that Detroit, right? That's what we get from when, when so some people don't even know who I am. Say, who is Lynn Roundtree? We don't know who he is. Where he from? Detroit. Oh, we going. Tell them, man, when you get out there, they, they expect you to play. They expect you to be funky and know what you're doing. And, and you know, because Detroit carries a, so a reputation, brother. So this is what we do, man. Some people don't like it. Some people are haters. But that's okay. Y'all, we I love it. I'm, a, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to let the funk suffer because somebody ain't as funky as me. Yeah. What you trying to say? Get, get on with it. <laughs> trying to get on, get on with it. Stop talking. He said stop talking. Play. <laughs> and we got we to gotta, we gotta spend time. With, I haven't seen y'all. I'm excited, man. I haven't seen y'all in so long. And so many of y'all out here, man, I'm, you know, I'm starstruck. I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> so look, man, 2020 uh, was a weird, 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 weird time, man. We were, we were all, you know, again, before I even go further, you know, my heart and my prayers go out to all who've lost, not just from that time period, but any, any period. I mean, we're just so lucky and grateful to have survived that weirdness in 2020, man. When everything was shut down, when, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen moving forward, when our gigs started getting shut down. Uh, we were depressed. I know you guys were depressed. We were at home. Uh, you know, it was terrible. It was terrible not seeing you. But you know what was worse? You know what was actually worse than not seeing you guys? There wasn't any toilet paper. What the hell, man? I know some of y'all got toilet paper in y'all closets right now. Got all the, all the Charmin. You know, we had to get Kroger brand uh, toilet paper, get hemorrhoids, scratching all up, you know. <laughs> but seriously, man, we, we felt bad, man, not being able to come out and see you guys. But, you know, we got over our depression. You saw us live at home in the studio, man. And, and that just, you know, created another uh, connection with us because more, normally you hadn't seen us in our studios. You've seen us live but you saw where we created the music, where we made the music, and that's what we did, man. We went back to doing what we knew how to do, and that's write, record, and play music, man, and, and we, had, we were able to take our time. One of the things we did uh, on my camp is we wrote a song. Uh, it was a beautiful song. It was funky, soulful. It was mid-tempo, and we thought it was the right time to release the song. We didn't know what it would do. We it was so weird at radio, but when we released it, you guys embraced the tune, you guys really played it. You supported it. You made this next tune that we're about to play the number two most streamed contemporary jazz song on Spotify. It stayed number one on the national billboard charts. It was my third number one hit on the national billboard charts for three weeks. Stayed on the charts for 27 weeks, man. And so we're about to play for you, inspired and for, by and for you guys, the title track to my latest CD, Fluid. Thank you. 
y'all know this one, the past the groove. I'm gonna call one of my good friends, one of my old friends I used to play with back in the day. A Detroit legend on trombone, Mr. John Calhoun.
All right, y'all. That's going to conclude our evening with you. Y'all had a good time. Did y'all have a good time with Lynn, Roundtree, and the Cats? So we're going to leave you on this one. Again, if you come to my show, we're going to always play this, man. And we're going to dedicate it to you. Oh, one, two. A one, two. Because you all rock our world. Thank you, Mr. Lanny. We got CDs. We're going to be selling CDs right over here. I want to see every one of you out there. If you don't have a CD, I got a last two. But we're going to dedicate this to you now.
Oh, yeah, you got to. Okay. Put it together, everybody, for Lynn Roundtree. <laughs> Don, we got to get him to do one more. Oh, you, we, we better. One more. Can we get one more? Can we get one more? I think if y'all put your hands together, we can get him back up here. Y'all want some more? You want some more? Where he at? While we're waiting on Lynn Roundtree, you see this shirt? This is the official John E. Lawrence Summer Jazz Series t-shirt. It says Jazz by the Lake for 10 weeks straight. He don't have no more air. He ain't got no more air. He ain't got no more air. Y'all want, you, tell you what, I'm going to get his horn. You play it. Uh, you play, okay. <laughs> you play his horn. Why you do that? Y'all put your hands together one time for Mr. Lynn Roundtree. <laughs> Who we got next week? Who do we got next week? Uh, Norman Brown. Who? The man around town, Mr. Norman Brown, will be here next Friday. Are you coming? I can't hear you. Folks in the back, are you coming next Friday for Norman Brown? Yeah. Looks like we're going to have a full house. A full house. We got a full house now. Yes, we do. Yeah. You want to say something? Give a shout out I to my man Rick Starr yeah. with the investments, insurance, retirement planning, and all the rest of them. Great, great sponsors. I got something to give away. You got something to give away? Somebody wants something. Get out. One, one, more, one more thing before. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, step right over here. Pick up John E. Lawrence CDs, his latest velocity is right over here under this first tent. And all of his stuff, and his t shirts, and his hats, and Lynn Roundtree's new CD as well. If you love some Lynn Roundtree, he's standing right over here autographing his brand new CD. Also, you can get a WJZD radio t shirt. We, we made it real convenient for you. We'll see you again next Friday. Yep. Uh, don't you say you have to give something away? Yeah, I got something to give away. Yeah, well, would you, can, I, can I win? Yes, you can win. Did you enter? No. Okay, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We would like to thank our, one of our sponsors, the University of Michigan Credit Union. We raffled off a University of Michigan Credit Union Jazz Festival package of, of lawn chairs, a cooler, and one winner has won it. And that winner is, y'all ready? Can you hear me? Janetta Mitchell. Anybody know Janetta Mitchell? That's your cousin? Cousin on your daddy's side, okay. Janetta Mitchell. You won some lawn chairs and a cooler. Please go see the University of Michigan Credit Union in the back for your gift. We would like to thank, once again, Washtenaw County, Ann Arbor Community Foundation, our platinum sponsor, Super Tracks Recording Company, Destination Ann Arbor, our diamond sponsors, Rick Starr, Downtown Development Association of Michigan, excuse me, of Ypsilanti, Michigan, OHM, the University of Michigan Credit Union who gave away that, that cooler along with those lawn chairs. Bank of Ann Arbor, Hinton Real Estate Group, Linda French, Sidetrack, Ypsilanti Township, Puffer Reds, Avenue Dental, Granville Lee, Dr. James Lee, McCoy and Associates, those are our silver sponsors. Masonic Lodge number 13, Paul Burns, attorney at law, Edward Jones, that's Mr. Rance Thomas, and also of Edward Jones, Alicia M. McGovern, those are some of our bronze sponsors. Also, we would like to thank Jones Cleaning Group, Washtenaw County Parks and Recreation Commission, Washtenaw County Sheriff's Department, Five Stones Digital, ITC Holdings, Ypsilanti Township Civic Center, Mary Kay, Miss Angela over there, the African American Cultural and Historical Museum, Washington Community College, Golden Limousine, Ipsy Real. 
And we would like to especially thank each one of you for attending the Johnny Lawrence Summer Jazz Concert 2023, and we're looking forward to seeing you next week. Also, don't forget to meet us over at Cuppy's Soul Food Bistro. That's over on Washington near Gulfside for the afterglow. And who will be over there? None other than Mr. Lynn Roundtree and John E. Lawrence himself. That's at Cuppies on Washington and Golf Side. Thank you for allowing us to entertain us. And please, take your time going home, drive safely, but also go over to Cuppies Soul Food Bistro over on Washington right here in beautiful Ypsilanti. Thank you once again. On behalf of the Johnny Lawrence Jazz Concert Series team, we would like to thank you for coming out. Peace. See you next week.